Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we are using an Operation Right Home sketch. Make sure you pause here to get your dimensions. This is sketch number 30. And um, this one, I, I, I'm really liking the idea of changing things up. Um, we've been doing that on the last few uh, sketches. So we're gonna do use the photo play stuck on you paper and we're going to do one vertical and one horizontal which is kind of how the sketch was intended um, but we're gonna go ahead and start getting everything attached now um, a couple of times over the last I would say month or so people have been asking me why do I use the art glitter glue and ATG tape um, the simplest answer is it gives me more time to move the paper around if I don't get it even and centered the way that I want. So it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to be able to move stuff around without tearing up the paper if I get it, you know, attached too strong with the ATG tape by itself. Um, and I also like the added security of that it's not going to start peeling apart when, you know, like you go visit someone and you sent them a card and it looks like all the pieces are starting to fall off and it's only been, you know, maybe a couple of months. I don't like that. So I always like to make sure that everything is secure. And then, of course, I run out of tape in the middle of filming. So we're just going to go ahead and get this uh, tape added on, or refilled, I should say, excuse me. And that way we can continue on with our our cards for today and with this particular card I am using the stamp that came in the uh, September kit and we're going to go ahead and finish getting this taped up and put together now on this this set of cards I do use a mat on the stripe element which helps give it an added dimension uh, to separate it from the other layers sometimes with the pattern paper if you're using a lot of different patterns you may find this helpful only because sometimes it can get a little busy but I find if you use a mat it'll sometimes help break it up and then off camera I had stamped the succulents and used my uh, Cather Pooler ink to basically like watercolor the green in. I think I have like grass skirt. I only have like three of her ink pads, but it was fun. I just grabbed it real quick because I just wanted some green and uh, colored in our little cactus here. And now we're going to go ahead and put these together. So this is the base. Um, and my pattern paper for the base is always five and a quarter by four and then the mat is five and three eighths by four and an eighth and then once we attach our strip going up and down we're going to go ahead and attach our focal image now on this one what i like about this sketch is it really does work either way the vertical or the horizontal what i liked with this is that it allows me room enough that I could add the Nouveau drops which you'll see me do at the end or you could even add you know sequins um, there's a lot you can do with this one when you put it vertical because it does have that you know space at the bottom and you don't have to use that little side piece maybe there's an image from the sticker sheet that you could use and then put the sentiment down at the bottom so there's a lot of different things that you can do and that's one of the nice elements of sketches is it's it's basically giving you a jumping off point and then you can tweak things how you see fit what you're trying to create so once we get that down and we're going to attach our piece here and you can see all I did was on the one I used the one side as the base and for our side folding card here I used the hearts for my base paper so just you know depending on the pattern paper that you're using I always love using the double sided because you can they're meant to go together so by using the reverse side you're able to get more cards done using using up less of the paper if that makes sense okay so 
Now that this is attached, we're going to go ahead and get these attached to our card bases. And once we have those attached, we're going to go ahead and do our Nouveau Drop. Now with this Black Nouveau drop, I when I did them before and I would tap it, they would kind of flatten and go like oblong or a weird shape. So for this time, I didn't tap it at all. I tried to leave it the same mound that I squeezed and then we'll just let it dry and see what happens. Then I'm taking my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen and um, going over the entire image now you do have to be careful because if you're using anything that is water-based the Wink of Stella's will kind of reactivate it so just keep that in mind depending on what all you've colored in all right and there is our final project and with the stamp set you saw the dies that were there if you wanted to you could have um, given this added dimension by you know stamping it off on a separate piece of paper and die cutting it and then adding foam and giving it a little bit of a pop so there's a lot you can do with this and I just think it's so stinking cute that one of them says looks like you're stuck with me and the other sentiment that we used was I'm happy to be stuck with you I just think it's so cute such a cool play on words you know with it being the the cactus and being stuck on hmm, okay it's just the little things right so thank you guys so much for joining me I will have links to this I think the paper collection is on scrapbookingwithme.com I believe the kits were all sold out but anything I can link to I will link to down at the bottom in the more section and I will also make sure to leave the coupon code because I know it was Miss Edith's birthday this month and I believe there's a special code for that um, and you can get an additional I believe 36% off as long as it's not already on sale so once again, thank you guys. Here are links to previous sketch videos, and I hope you have a great weekend.